I'm breastfeeding two kids. Let me, boy. Let me. Why is he screaming? Long is not sleeping. Let me play his white noise and see if he comes down. So we started letting him sleep on his own without me feeding him or cuddling him, holding him this week. It's been working so far. The white noise helps. He's going to fall asleep in the next few minutes and wake up probably around. He wakes up around 4. Right now, it's not the time, but 5 minutes to 12. He just had his feet. And then Naya will probably wake up at around 1 because he, she didn't feed since 11 or so so we'll see i'll try to vlog when i when i wake up i'll try hmm? <laughs> Yo, oh, they just. What about your mind? Five thirty. Yeah, the whole night I I tried to see. I feed them on my own while the two are sleeping, so I can't talk. Because I don't talk to them at night, <laughs> so I didn't vlog their feeds. But now they were both crying, so. We are now <laughs> press in in English. We are press feeding. <laughs> we are bottle feeding them. I mean, I'm tired. My boobs are tired. I'm joking. Um, I do both. I give them formula in my breast. So given them breast the whole night so now it's around 5 30 to 6 they can have a bottle and then they will sleep and then i can breastfeed them when i wake up just for me to fuel up again and yeah our nights are very simple so they're, they're not they don't cry a lot so they are very sweet babies. I'm able to, to handle at least both of them if they don't wake up at the same time. But now they were both crying, so I had to wake Utebato up. So tonight I'm the one who sleeps. So they'll mainly bottle feed. Unless they both wake up at the same time and then I'll have to breastfeed someone. But that's how we rotate. We rotate the feet. And we wrote it to give each other a chance to sleep. Yeah. And that. Yeah, let me finish here. It's 9 a.m. We are still in bed. <laughs> ah, yeah. It's, it was what time are you waking up? You don't know. He is on the boob. He's sleeping even. Okay, let me burp him and then <laughs> take another nap. <laughs> Are we taking another nap? I'm gonna take. I might take another nap. Usually, I wake up at ten, cause I'm still on mat leave. But even on weekends, we wake up very late. With 
Mm. So we wake up late because we wake up the whole night, basically the whole morning. We are up. We feed them, burp them. They're sleeping by the time we're done with that. And then we nap. <coughs> they say nap when they're napping. I do that. <laughs> <laughs> Most women say it's so hard. You have to do, you have to wash dishes. You have to do this. You have to do that. I can do that later. I nap. I don't play. <laughs> In the morning, when they sleep, I sleep. Even if it means I wake up at twelve, I do that. I sleep. I sleep. Guys. I'm not an exhausted mother. Imagine two kids and you wake up and you are busy. Eh. Uh -uh. If I wash the dishes today, if I'm clean today, then that's a bonus. But if I didn't, no one dies. So I take care of myself, my mental health, and base sister who's helping helping us. I told her, if it's too busy for us to do anything, then we won't do anything. So yeah, um we need to be rested for them. You can't be exhausted and then at night you can't even wake up. When I wake up in the morning, I'm fresh, sleepy, but fresh, not tired. So sleeping helps. Sleeping really helps. Uh, I also take a nap. Sometimes I'd wake up probably around 10. And then during the day, after bathing them and all that, um, I take another nap. I'm a napster. Take a lot of naps. And it's healthy. It's good. Because uh, we're raising babies here. You can't be tired. You can't be exhausted. <laughs> but don't come to my house. Because sometimes when you come here, it would be like a bomb just hit. <laughs> ah, yes. And I have friends that want to come and help, but with the COVID and the way life is set up, <clears throat> yeah, I can't have that. I know I have I have a good friend who used to be, who used to come before the third wave. She used to come and clean for me, um, and help me around the house so that I'm not tired and I'm able to do other things. But for now. We can't, we can't do that. So we are basically on level five in this house, except for Tivazo who goes to work, who's going to bring this COVID home because of that. So that's the only risk we have, as well as us going to the malls because we do go shopping for a lot of things. So that might be the risk. But other than that, we're basically home. All the time. With these babies. And that's... Is that a morning thing? But today, I decided to vlog because I'll be going out. So I... I also baked my own lactation cookies. So the ingredients are getting finished. Maybe I'll vlog while I buy that. And I'll also show you guys how I make those cookies. They really work. I'm breastfeeding two kids, so if I'm able to do that for this long, it's been how many months since I started breastfeeding? Probably two months that I started breastfeeding, but I've been pumping for four months. So clearly, I'm doing something right. Um, I'm going to show you the ingredients. Pouchy, pouchy. I'm going to show you the ingredients. I'm going to show you how I bake those cookies. Hopefully, it's going to help someone. And yeah, apart from that, yeah, life is, is simple, man. I watch a lot of YouTube videos, a lot of Netflix, a lot of Showmax. Catch up a lot on TV. And just nap. <laughs> Apart from that, KI, let, let me just leave it here because I'm blabbing now. Mm. <laughs>
<laughs> it's not me, guys. I didn't fart. He did. Oh. Oh. Okay. Let me go. Hi. So, as I mentioned, we're gonna be stepping out and leaving the babies with their uh, big sister and mom Kulu. Delata and I are going to the shops. We're gonna go to to see Milani's tombstone because we had put up a tombstone when she passed. I'm gonna go there first, check if it's clean, if it needs cleaning. We're gonna do a bit of some cleanup and then after that i guess we're gonna go to the shops because we have to go to the shops it's not we have to but we decided to start at milani and see milani where she is and see how the tombstone is if we have any complaints i already like i have a bad experience with this company but the tombstones are beautiful but anyway i don't know maybe i'll show you when i get there maybe but yeah it will depend how i feel <laughs> right so let's go it's beautiful and clean waste of words a waste of breath because i've got none to say thoughts they burn inside my chest can take it one people, more so day no matter how much pain I'm in No matter how Gotta think I gotta breathe Changes to come Cause the light's just around the corner Life must go on What won't kill me COVID. Most, most of the things we bought <laughs> honey ginger tree we got this disinfectant dis disinfecting fogger yeah. and then this was that was this camp and then it clicks we got the baby's vitamins so we buy one for each some calcium beta and we bought these to put in the humidifier that we just bought so that's all hmm? oh and baby <laughs> it's not baby flow that's what I called it. Hello, then, and they laughed at me. It's flow, baby. <laughs> After I said that, that guy kept saying baby flow. <laughs> then he bought their uh, sealant spray because they get dry. They don't get blocked. They get dry. But that's why I bought the, the humidifier to help their nose. Oh my, but quickly, you buy too. 
What are you doing? Kubo gila lo. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi, mommy. Say hello, YouTube. <laughs> Yes, Hi, mommy. Hi, like, why is that one screaming? Why is he screaming? <laughs> what is your problem? Ah, Naya. You are a man bigger pan. Talano, too. Talano, too. I am done with you. I am done. I just want you guys to be clean. To be clean. Smell nice. Eh? And very warm. It's fine. Yeah, No, I must wash it. Yes, I must clean it. Yes. The next day. I don't know. This vlogging thing. It's tricky. I mean, the nursery, they don't sleep here yet. But hopefully before the end of the year, they'll, they'll be sleeping in here. My skin is so bad. Yeah, we'll talk about the skin and pregnancy another time. So we found out on Wednesday that Dibato has COVID. She's COVID positive. Which means I probably am too, because we kissed um, a few days before they told us he was she was exposed to someone who was positive. Um, and then yeah, we we tried to to not kiss each other, not kiss the babies. It's been it's been tricky. Um, we can't isolate her now. It's too late because she was told a few days, like three days later that she was exposed to someone who had it. So by then, we are already exposed to. So we're just grateful we don't have any symptoms. We are good so far. So we've been continuing with our Kelsey Vitas. Um... I was steaming with bigs and basically that's all we're doing and we don't have symptoms but she is positive which means I probably am as well as everyone in this house which is sad but as long as we're not sick we're just grateful thank you for watching though um please do subscribe I'm gonna be posting more um I can post the babies now yeah, I wanted to give myself some time with them. They're very young still. Um, I've known them for so long, but um, their adjusted age is still, it's going to be two months on the 23rd. So they're still very young. They'll, if if I, I gave birth um, full term, they'll only be two months now, but I've known them for since Feb, so... That's why I haven't been posting them because it's tricky. They're still very small. <laughs> yeah, uh, for now, let me go finish making breakfast. And then I'll see. This is their nursery. I'll show you guys the finished products once we're done sorting everything out. One of their cot beds is in our room, so it won't have two cot beds. This it will only be one for now. Then once they're at the side, we'll bring it back.